All right, well, welcome back to Breath of Fire. Uh, yesterday, we ran around and did a whole bunch of backtracking and cleaning up and getting stuff. So today, we're actually going to progress. <laughs> uh, well, first, we're going to get into battle. But we can see how uh, this Karn's new form does some fighting. Uh, let's see, let's just Flame Rapier, which is probably not even going to be needed. In fact, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this form does a lot more damage, as you might expect, because it involves Ox. But it's still really fast, as you might expect, because it involves Karn. So it'll definitely do more damage than Shin. Um, and it lets you actually make Ox usable, which... I just really enjoy. Um, I'm a big fan of it. Oh, these are some new dudes. Alright. Let's just fight them this way. <laughs> new guys who are not that tough. Oh, but he has insta kills. Alright, good to know. Take out Dark Fleas. No, I still don't want Mogu in here. Although, actually now Mogu should be doing more damage. So, let's switch you two. I'm fairly certain that while you're in this form, you should still be able to avoid traps. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of Karn's forms can do that. I'd be very surprised if they couldn't. Or at least let's put it that way. Um... Let's go ahead and just take out these dark fleas. But yeah, so we were able to get a whole bunch of good stuff yesterday. So now we can actually head on forward uh, in the actual plot of things. Um, the Dark Dragon Clan, uh, one of their generals, Searle, has stolen the time key. That's probably not going to end well. Um, so, let's go get that back. And there's only really one way we haven't gone yet, which is down through this cave. So, we'll just do that. I don't really remember how big this cave is, but it seems to be pretty straightforward. So, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. There we go. There we are. At least these guys give fairly good XP. Oh, Mogu, your health is just so small. Really, just not a huge fan. Should have flame rapiered. Probably would have taken him out. Oh well. And now we are in the frozen tundra. All right, and we have to dig to be able to get in the tower. But we have a city, a frozen city. This is spring. Doesn't look like spring, it looks like winter. Spire controls the sky. Okay. The entrance to Spire is buried, only the mole people can uncover it. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, you could have come here at any point after you get to this continent, but you couldn't get into Spire without Mogu. Um, but now that we have Mogu, we can definitely get in there. And, but we do also still have a new village here, so you know what we have to do. Go and loot everything. Oh, interesting. So, once we can thaw out the waterfall, there's a tunnel there that leads to Scand, which is our final destination that we've been trying to get to this whole game. Nice. 
can control people through dreams. Yeah, we've uh, we've met Moat. Um, I'm not a fan of Moat. He's not exactly a cool guy. Have you to say? My husband went to Spire and does not return. He likes to climb towers. I hope he hasn't fallen. That could be a problem. Oh, so he was just trying to climb the whole thing. Since no one else, because since only the mole people can actually get into it from the inside. Oof. That, uh... You know? More power to him. I definitely wouldn't have tried that. Let's see, just a couple more houses here to check out. Oh, what do you have to say? It's very cold, I don't have any warm clothes. Waterfall's frozen. Hey, there's stuff I can steal. When I was young, I was told that Spire controls the climate. Okay, so someone must be messing with stuff in Spire to freeze this place over. Probably to impede our progress, if I had to guess. Since apparently we can get to scan through the waterfall here. Oh, another clog. Alright. Uh, if I recall correctly, those increase your speed. Let's see. Who... Do I want to just make you super fast? That's kind of a fun plan, but not really a necessary one. Um... Whose speed do I want to increase? You know what? I'm going to give it to you, because you are in every single uh, transformation. So that seems like... I don't actually need to give you more defense. Who needs more defense? You need more defense. And you're in a bunch of transformations, so that's still going to help. Actually, what am I doing? Mogu needs more defense. Yeah. What am I doing? Give me that back. Also, I need to apparently sell things because I am really running low on inventory. Uh, yeah, stick with the earth robe and get a skull ring in there. Get some more defense. That's gonna be a little bit better for you. Unfortunately, we still can't equip any shields. But that's okay. Luckily, we do have a weapon shop here. Let's see what they have. Probably nothing better than what I've currently got, but you know, doesn't hurt to check. Yeah, you've already got that. Gaia mask, I'm pretty sure makes it so that you resist, uh, Resist Earth magic, which really isn't a bad plan. Quartz armor, everyone can equip it. Interesting. Uh, nobody should equip it though. <laughs> all right, good to know. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Hmm. Yeah, I think I do want to go ahead and give these guys all the Gaia mask. Uh. It is slightly less defense, but I think it's also slightly faster. Um, and it makes it so that they don't take... It gives them more elemental. Uh, uh, oh, it's because he's fused. I'll just have to buy one and then switch it onto him. Yeah, you can't exactly uh, trade equipment on someone who is kind of fused at the moment. Yeah. Act is going to be the same, whatever. That doesn't really matter that much. But I do need to clean up my inventory. So I think I'm going to take care of that real quick here and then pop back in after I've done so. Okay, cleaned up my items a little bit. Uh, got some more acorns because I'm probably going to need them. And also rusted at the inn and deposited a whole bunch of gold because I don't really need it on my party right now, or on my person right now. 
one other thing I also did off screen was I used up all of, now that I have all the party characters that you can get, I did go ahead and use all of the potions that I've been storing up for now. Most of them went on Mogu, uh, just because his stats are really low. Um, basically I gave him all of the vigor potions, um, and then the rest of the stuff I pretty much just gave to Ryu. Because making him faster and more lucky and stronger is really just not going to hurt anything. It's, it's going to just be good. Um, it's going to be what I want. A fast and lucky Ryu is always a good thing. But I do want Mogu to actually be viable. So anything I can do to boost his stats a little bit is going to be a good thing in the long run. Because he can be very useful. He's just so squishy. Uh, luckily he does bulk up quite a bit as you go up levels. But uh, in these early portions it's a little, it's a little rough. It's a little rough. Um, and he's always going to be far more squishy than most of your other people, unfortunately. Uh, Ryu is not the person I want to have in front here. I did also deposit uh, most of my gold, because I don't really need it right now. Ooh, a gold. Okay, that's, that's neat. I am rather enjoying have this... Oh, I should switch Karn to the front. If he's not already in the front. Okay, you have a lot of health. There we go. Yeah, Karn should be in the front. I'm pretty sure that will be having him do more damage now that he's mostly going to be using forms that uh, are more front heavy. Or... Er now that he's going to be using forms that aren't ranged anymore. Okay, yeah, this thing is kind of a beast. Let's just put it on auto battle. This is going to be faster. <laughs> Nina's 90 damage from the flame rip here is probably not going to be as important here. Damn, this thing has a lot of health. Hopefully it gives a lot, gives some good XP though. Or at least some good gold. This thing is a beast. Uh, not really worth it. Not really worth it. All right, good to know. Fair enough. No, oh, this should be worth it though. Do you want to flame rape through these guys? Attack them and re. There we go. Yeah, enemy difficulties have kind of ramped up at this point, and as we saw at the weapon shop, there's not a whole lot more. I've already pretty much started hitting endgame equipment. Um, there, there's going to be some better equipment I can get along the way, but shops aren't going to have a whole lot more for me to be getting, unfortunately, at this point in the game. So I can go up there and get a treasure. And I can keep going along here. Where does this take me? It's just... Oh man, things here have a lot of health. Don't put him to sleep. Oh, he woke right back up. <laughs> Alright. Cool. <laughs> Why not? There we go. Okay, looks like this is not just gonna dead end me. As I was kind of hoping. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, that means I should probably do some backtracking. 
or at least go back a little bit to go and get that uh, treasure chest that I missed. Alright. I'll get through this battle and then I'll go do that. At least this combination is not anything I need to worry about anymore. Good for you, Gobi! Alright. Go get that chest. Let's just auto battle the flowers because they also have a ton of health. They don't seem to be particularly dangerous. I say is, I'm sure they're now going to like one shot me or something. Oh, okay, they just do a bunch of statuses. That's not bad at all. Not really a problem. Oh, Jesus, did you see? Are you seeing these stat increases? Holy crap. Bo, or uh, Blue, what are you doing, girl? Just, Christ. Oh, so much health. My god. I mean, I she is pretty much a goddess, so I guess it makes sense. But still. Oh, flame rapier. Flame rapier you do this time. See if it does a little bit more. Makes the battle go a little faster. And I have been silenced. You wish. <laughs> Nothing can silence me. I make videos on the internet. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and silence the Minotaur. See how that does for you. Watch, this is going to be like an herb or something. It's going to be completely useless. Take you out. Select you, and... Alright, Mogu is now starting to pull his weight. He's still very squishy, but he's doing a lot better. He's slowly getting better. I just have to keep telling myself that, and eventually it'll be true. You know what? What am I doing? I can just auto-battle these things now, as long as there's only two of them. There we go. Alright. And yeah, that was the earlier- oh, okay. I do just- I have to go back up. Okay. Fair enough. I gotta say, this dungeon, not super exciting so far. To be fair, I'm on the bottom floor of a tower, so we'll probably get a little bit more complicated as I go up, but at least the enemy con- oh. That wasn't even that much damage, it was just on Mogu, who has so little health that it made it look like a lot of damage. I don't appreciate that. Blue, you went up another level already? What the hell, Blue? Stop. I mean, don't stop, but still. What the heck? <laughs> Your stats are insane. I would use you more, except you're still only useful as a mage. <laughs> And I don't want to be using your MP for these really simple mobs. But at this rate, your attack stat might actually be comparable. <laughs> and then we have poor Ox, who goes up levels so slowly. But it's okay. He does his best. He's a good boy. Alright, go get 
these treasures. This place is actually not as complicated as I was making it out to be uh, in the early, uh, when I first got in here. Should have just gone for the treasure chest right away. I and mean, then it wouldn't have zero backtracking, but whatever. Not that big a deal. Also, I gave Ryu all of the luck potions in the hopes of just turning him into a crit machine. Um, because that's just fun. I just enjoy that. I'm pretty sure the shell is a fishing item. Yeah, it's fishing bait. Um, let's go ahead and use the agility potion on Ryu. Just make him faster. I have zero problems with Ryu being very fast. Take you. We already have your number. There we go. Hey! So that's his. That's uh, Moku's version of a slam. I don't know why they give it a different name. It's just a slam. But it becomes a little bit better when he gets the claw that makes him attack twice. I definitely remember him doing that. I don't remember what it takes to get him to do that, but I remember him doing so. Uh, I got some flame mail and another world mail. You can't use either one, which is unfortunate. I don't think you're going to be able to use either one, either, though I don't actually want you to. I'm pretty sure the earth armor is the best thing for him, no matter what. You have the life armor, so why am I even bothering? Uh, I don't think you can equip it. You also can't equip it. <laughs> you already have a world... M oh! World armors instead of males. Interesting. Well, you can't equip the flame armor, but you can equip the world armor. Which is better. Interesting. Okay. That's neat. Well, now I want to know who can actually equip this flame armor. Because no one who can seems to actually want it. Just Ryu and Mogu. People who already have better stuff. Got it. Alright, cool. So I won't be using that. Like, ever. But now Ox has even more defense, so that's neat. <laughs> Alright. Head up these stairs. Oh. Okay. Well... I think we're going to continue exploring Sky Tower in our next episode of Breath of Fire.